Also, uh, Mr. Tony Bellew, who recently beat David Hay, has had a lot to say well, regarding... He's had a lot to... I don't know why he's being cheeky. Why has he been cheeky? Because I see him shake his hand. I thought he was a mate of Tice. I know he's trying to drum a few quid up and make a fight for himself. But let me tell you, mate, why are you doing this being an idiot when you know Tyson could slap you? I don't think you could even beat me, pal. And I'm washed out, finished. You couldn't beat me, mate. So forget my son, stick to the light heavyweights on unknown cruiserweights and you'll be alright. You beat David A was 100 years old. Forget about that mate. You can't beat Tyson Fury. So stop even mentioning his name. Honestly, that's all I'm saying about him. You know what I'm saying? And I'll back up what I say. You know, I'm there as large as life. You know, I'm telling the truth. I won't back down from what I say from no man. Or kiss no man's ass. Me ever. That's the top and the end of it. John, to be fair, Tyson has mentioned Tony's name and vice versa. They've both mentioned each other's name, especially over the last sort of month or so. Is that a possibility that you could even see that fight happening? Or Why when he wouldn't stand the prayer? Ow! What was he going to do? You know, I'll tell you now. Tony Bellew, Sefer Safiri would knock him spark out. That's what happened there. So I don't know why they're even mentioning Tyson. You know, and I'm only being like this because I respected him, bigged him up, and I've got a lot of friends in Liverpool. I worked at Liverpool for 10 years, know everybody in there. But why make an ass out your mouth? To get a few quid. The lad's done well, very well. He's won a world title. He's beat David A. Yes, he was shot, worn 300,000 miles on the clock, but he still beat him. But why mention young, super heavyweight dinosaurs when you're only really 12 stone seven? Come on. The joke's on him for even mentioning Tyson like that. You know what I'm saying? But I've said what I've said, and I'm not going nowhere. He knows me. Everybody in Liverpool knows me. They know how game I am. You know what I'm saying? So that's it. How long, how many fights before Tyson, in your opinion, is not ready physically, but just the process of coming back before he's in with the likes of Joshua and Wilder, etc.? I'm tired of answering these questions about AJ. Tyson could beat him now. Tyson could beat him now. Because there's no competition. It's not about when Tyson if this and if that. That's a foregone conclusion. Tyson can beat AJ in his sleep. That man's a, a good fighter. He's an excellent fighter. This is a brilliant fighter. The two levels apart, mate. You know, like the aliens are light years in front of us in brain power. That's how my son is in front of Joshua in ability. Do you understand me now, what I'm saying? Do I get the picture across? He can't do it. He's got slow feet. He's got a few flash stands. He goes like that. One, two, left up. Chin stuck in the air. You see him, he's blown out of his ass. I mean, he gets a bit of pressure put on him. Tyson will do more than pressurise him, mate. He'll be crying after four rounds. Tears will be rolling out of his eyes like Marafat peas. But he can't do any good. He'll be swinging like that. Oh, where's he gone? Pop, pop, bang. On the floor. End of. Give me them belts back where you stole them. You bum. And that's it. <laughs> Will we see this fight next year, in your opinion? No, I don't think he will, because he's too frightened. He'll retire before he faces Tyson Fury. The Gypsy King will retire him without even fighting him, and I've said it first. He'll retire him without even fighting him, because he hasn't got nothing to beat him with. He don't need money. The lad's a trillionaire. He don't need it. So why would you mucky your legacy by letting a big Gypo spark you right out? End of. Do you answer all them questions? That's what it is. The Gippo will spark him out because he got no tip back with. It's like you fighting with a water pistol and I've got a shotgun. That's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? Ridiculous. He can't win. Neither can the other one. Like Tyson said, a football player and a weightlifter. I'd be more of a match for them than me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know people were watching this. Um, and well, they should. But at the end of the day, I want all them to eat their words you backed against my son. But let me tell you, things happen for a reason in this world. It's come round nice and slow, and now they've really seen who the real champion is, Tyson. And now he's getting the respect off the public he deserves. It's been long crazy for look at them today, biggest ever turnout there in Manchester for a public workout. Because they know he's the people's champion, he says it how it is, he mixes with the public. You know, he's not afraid to go and have a cup of tea or sit down with anybody. He'll sit down there with them and embrace them, advise them, help them. I bet nobody else is doing that. You know why? Because they're reading a the frigging script, aren't they? You tell, you do this, you do that. You say this, you say that. Nobody can say that. I'm his father and I can't tell my son what to say. Because he just tell to me, he said to me, you take a back seat. It's none of your business. He knows what he's doing, Tyson. He's a people's champion, that's all he wants to do. He's won the people's hearts and he just wants to put a good display on for them. 
and let him enjoy the true heavyweight lineal champion of the world. He's the fastest heavyweight in the world, he's the biggest heavyweight in the world, and he's the strongest heavyweight in the world. Ask Steve Cunningham. He'll verify what I'm saying. One more from me, John. Yep. Do you think this time round the media will have a different stance on how they portray your son? I'm having no comment on media situations at all, Ragugan. I don't know anything about the media, I don't know anything about politics, I don't want to talk about that. Move on, please. That was it for me, unless you have thank anything Thank you very much, Coogan. Lovely. No, nope, that's it. I've said enough, Anna. <laughs> John, thank you very much for giving us thank your you, time. Thank you, Coogan. And I'm sure we'll catch up with you this week. Cracking job, mate. Top man.